ok let's start with cool new future from settings advanced futures here we have something new continue apps on other devices pick up where you left off on other devices signed into your samsung account just tap the icon that appears on recent screen on your other device support apps samsung internet and samsung notes are the only apps supported for now you can also copy text images this is very good future but of course both of your devices need to run one ui 3.1 sadly now i have only one device so i can't show you fully working and supported apps are samsung internet and samsung notes for now of course they will extend that list okay let's continue forward Before we go, guys, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my videos. This will help me grow and make better videos. Thank you. Something new that I spot on One UI 3.1 is Samsung Daily is completely removed. Let's check it now. And here on the left side, we have Google Discover and Samsung Free. Finally, Samsung. Thank you. We have Google Feed on our Samsung devices. You can use that Samsung Free. It's very good also and it's something like a newsfeed and of course you can change and reorder everything here you can enable or disable these news categories of course it's very useful but i prefer google feed for now a search bar is missing but probably samsung will add it in future something small but new folders on your home screen if you tap here on that circle and select this multicolor button before that we have only swatches and you can select from only different colors but now we have spectrum and you can create completely your color it's not a big change but nice improvement from samsung you can see now what's the difference here something else when you first time start your samsung s21 because these are now the only devices using one ui 3.1 and i'm not sure it will be the same for everyone now your default message application is google messages now you can start using your chat features this is something like iMessage on apple devices and again i'm not sure this will work for everyone now you have both applications samsung messages and google messages on your device and by default is set google messages of course you can change that new option which everybody is waiting for is the object eraser option in samsung gallery let's go in gallery and select a picture now from here just tap on that edit button and if you open it for a first time tap here on the three dots select laps and select object eraser because it's disabled by default and remove objects people and anything else you don't like from your pictures and guys for example if you are on the beach and take a selfie and someone in the background ruined your selfie you can just erase it by tap here on that rubber button let's tap here on that woman and just select erase and that's it bam you now have a clear selfie and everything's perfect also there is other people on the pictures of course we don't like them tap here select erase and bam now you have perfect picture just save it and you are ready to go and if you are doc take a selfie just select the edit button select the rubber button and you can remove that dog toy from the picture if you don't like it erase and that's it you and your friend will be the only one in the picture perfect something new in one ui 3.1 is so called video call effect if you are go to settings advanced features scroll down you will find that video call effect if you tap on it and you can read what's written here keep the focus on you during video calls by blurring the background or covering it with an image you have a different options here blur the background a color or an image let's select blur and tap on print and now you can see my background is blurred which is a privacy focus feature which i like and if you select a color and tap preview the whole background will be blurred and only your face will be shown here 
you can select an entire image. If you tap settings, gallery and select that image, select preview and this guy now is watching behind me. A very cool new feature from Samsung. I like it a lot and probably you will like it also. With this new one UI we have lots of new camera features. Live focus is now changed to portrait this and a live focus video is now changed to portrait video. Now it's a lot more understandable and everyone will know what exactly that is. And a portrait mod now add some new effects like like select a picture of mine change background effect and here you will receive now a backdrop which will completely change the color of the background and matching it with your clothes that's very good future also we have low key mono and also we have a high key mono a nice new effects you can change almost everything here and the backdrop effect is also nice something new something cool something new in camera is so called director's view and you can view simultaneously from all the camera feeds from selfie camera white camera tele camera and zoom camera you can view all the feeds here on your screen and probably guys this will depends on your cpu let's tap here and now you can see all the feeds are here and you can reorder them you have a uh, lots of different options and it's very nice but remember probably this will depends on your cpu is it capable or not something small and new if you are in video mode you can now change the resolution and frame rates directly from a shortcut here you have a 4k full hd hd and all the frame rates again small improvement but very useful another thing in camera department if you are going single take you can now tap here and you have a uh, types of shots to capture and of course you can enable and disable them for threads filtered photos, filtered videos, speed effect clips and so on. You can enable and disable every one of these. Until we are in camera, we have something new. If you tap on settings, scroll down and you can change the selfie color tone. And you can select from natural or a slightly brighter. And these are all the things that I find in camera which are coming with One UI 3.1. And the last thing which I find in this version of One UI is if you are going settings, display, scroll down, set of blue light filter, now you have eye comfort shield which is now adaptive and will change the blue light depends of content uh, you are using now or a time of the day. Basically it's the same as blue light filter but of course it's more smart now and it's adaptive. That's it guys, this is everything which I find in One UI 3.1. Of course if you find or know something which I don't show in the video, let me know down in the comments. And probably most of you will ask when update is coming, but this is very difficult question. One UI 3.1 is now coming with S21 series and of course it will came first to S20 and Note 20 series and probably after that other devices like S10, Note 10 and S9 will be in update list. That's it guys, if you like this video and if this video helps you somehow, don't forget to subscribe my channel, click that notification bell and like my videos. Thank you and have a nice day.